Okay. Um, in this video, I am going to discuss the third method of analyzing a trust. No? This is called uh, the Maxwell diagram or the graphical method of analyzing a trust. Um, the Cremona diagram, also known as the Cremona Maxwell method, is a graphical method used in the analysis of trusses to determine the forces in members. The other two methods are method of joints and method of sections. This one is the graphical method. Now, there are two steps involved in the graphical method of trust analysis. The first one is the external reaction components must be determined by either the algebraic or the graphic method. So, mone una bahatun. Determine first the external reaction components. So, for example, you have this trust. You solve for the reaction. Since we don't have any horizontal load, then the horizontal component of the reaction at A is zero. And to solve for the reaction at A, vertical reaction at A, and the vertical reaction at B, you can use the other conditions of equilibrium. When you sum up moment at A, you can solve for the reaction at B. Oh, assuming na ang vertical reaction sa D is upward, then this will be the equation. I D counterclockwise moment positive, so upwards or counterclockwise distance ten minus ten thousand times distance three minus six thousand times distance seven. So R D is seven two, and then to solve for R A Y, you can sum up moment sa vertical. You have this equation. And B uh, seven thousand two hundred is upward man, uh, positive man. And you have R A U R. So once makuha na ni mo ang makuha na ang um, external reaction components. Next is the force uh, members. So the internal stresses in all members can be obtained from the stress diagram or we call it the force polygon, which is the superposition of all the individual force polygons for the concurrent force systems acting on each joint. So we will deal more on this uh, sa, uh, no, illustration, but uh, before the model, I was going to explain kung saan ang paggamit sa so, ang pag, pag, pag apply yan eh, Max, Maxwell, Primona Maxwell method. For example, we have this trust. Okay? So, sa first step, nakasulat dito na ito stated na you have to solve for the external reaction components. And by symmetry, since symmetrical ang loads, then just compute the total load, 300, 600, 600. The total is 2,400. And divided by 2, so it's 1, 2, each other, RIA and RH. And you will have this one. Okay. So, so graphical method, inaan isa. First, ato sang i-delete ng quad. Kanin joins, so. A, B, up to H. Build sa na ito. So, wala na i-label rin. No? Sa, sa joint. And, mawag na sa diod. Uh, each space, okay? mawag na niyang start sa graphical analysis. Each space between two adjacent external forces is labeled with a letter in consecutive order, E, B, C, D, and so on. By starting with the letter A, we'll just use small letter para di lima confuse sa joints kay capital letter. 
Oh, pero you can also use capital letter if you want. And then proceeding in the clockwise direction. So A, B, C, D in a clockwise direction. So remember each space between two adjacent external forces. For example, 300 to 600. You put one letter. 600 and the other 600, another letter. 600 to 600, another letter. Each space between two adjacent external forces. Like this one, one, two, and 300. Another letter. And I'm a space between sa doha kalods. Okay. Now, ang pag-assign sa A, letter, letter A, ang pag-assign sa A, case, uh, depende sa, depende sa, wow, mo-analyze, no? O depende sa gasol. Pwede ka dire mag A, A da, dire A, 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 or A. Bisa na asa, no? It doesn't matter. So, for this one, dire akong A. Yeah. So, bali ang A will cover 1,200 to 1,200. And then, in a clockwise direction, dapat mag-assign ka o letter in consecutive order. So, A, clockwise sa clockwise. So, ang 1, 2, 2, 300, you put B. So, ang B is from 1 to 1,200 to 300. From 300 to 600, put C. And then B, and then E, and then F, and then this one G. Remember, huh? always remember that each space between two adjacent external forces. Okay. So after this, next is this one. Each triangle is labeled with the numeral by starting with the number one and proceeding from left to right. So left to right, that's a monastery one. And then left to right, that's two, that's three, four, five, and six. Okay. Next. Okay. The two numbers or one letter and one number on opposite sides of each member are used to represent the magnitude and direction of the stresses in the member. Now, this is the real trust, okay, or the original trust. For this member, it's EB, right? EB. So, pag ka sa joint, it's EB. Pag sa joint B ka, it's BA. So, so uh, using Maxwell diagram, Maxwell method is kinin a member will be read as C1 or 1C. That is why nakabutang dere one letter and one number. Uh, C and 1. C1 or 1C. Bale ang ang sa Maxwell is dili ang in in point sa member nga A ug B. Kun dili space nga nag-share sa iya. So, ang kinin na member, ang sagawas is C, ang solod is 1. Anala. So, this will be read, uh, EB will be read as C1 or 1C. Okay. Kaning two numbers, kinin sad. Member BC or CB will be read as 1, 2 or 2, 1. Uh, Mawin two numbers. 1, 2, 2, 1. Kaya ang nag-share aning member, ang kinima na space, 1 and 2. Okay. And so on. Like in DF, DF. Uh, this will be read as, kating DF or FB, it will be read as 4E or E4. Okay. So, we have to be clear on this. Or dapat, uh, you have understood this one. Para para di ka malibog sa next na steps. Oh, okay. So, let's go back to 
our illustration kanina. This one, okay. Hindi kayo na problem. Okay. Um, na reaction 7-2 and 8-8. Okay. So, nata dali 8-8, ito sa 800 and then 7-2. So, and ang join sa ni, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So, A, B, C, D, E. So, sa Maxwell, ah, uh, but na kag-letter, no? A. Depende sa A, makasak kang A. Okay. So, for this one, kinya kong A. And then, ang next nga space is between 8,800 and 7,2. Okay. Hindi, wala may loader eh. Okay? Wala may load. Na ang nakabutang kay dapat kung man. Each space between external load. So from 8,000 to 7, 8,800 to 7,200. Isa lang nakalita. That's B. Oh, B. Okay? B. So ang B will cover from 8,800 to 7,200. The next one is C. From 7,200 to 6,000. And the last one is 6,000 to 10,000. And then, okay, and then, okay, then, um, triangles. No? We have one, two, and three. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, base there, eh? there's a step to it. The internal stresses in all members can be obtained from the stress diagram or the force polygon. So, what we will do is withdraw the force polygon. We construct the force polygon for each joint and then superimpose. We do the superposition. They superimpose the non force polygons. And after that, the result is the Cremona diagram or the Maxwell diagram. Okay? Act. Now, so joint A, this is joint A, right? A, B, C, D, E. So joint A, there are three members. Uh, there are three forces, rather, three forces. 8,800, this one, AE, and AB. So, let's recall. First polygon, same as a tip-to-tail method sa physics na i-connect ni mo ang mga forces. So, uh, you draw the first force, and then, for the second force, i-connect ni mo ang tail sa second force sa tip sa first force. And then the last force, ang tip sa last force must coincide with the tail of the first force para ang mag-close ang diagram para equilibrium siya. O zero ang uh, resultant. Ano ang mga force polygon method or the tip to tail method. Okay. So for the three forces, 8,800 EE and EB, okay. Let us draw first this one. Okay. Now, ang pag-label ng 8,800 is EB. Para yan, di ba? Kini na member. Kini na member ng EE will be read as B1 or 1B. So, for external loads, letter po, para yan eh, 10,000. DA na siya. Okay, clockwise man ta. Clockwise ang 1 ba? So, D to A. Muna ang 10,000. Uh, ang 6,000 is C to D. So, for 8,800, that's from A to B. So, A ka na rin. B na yun ka rin. No? So, tail ni, tip ni siya. A and then B. Now, oh, sa maximum diagram, dapat, ako okay, graphical man eh. Scale ni mo ning known na forces. Kini mga external load by scale na ni mo. So, this line must be drawn to scale. So, ang scale 
ikaw ra mag-decide. Like in this case, maana ka na. 1,000 newton is equivalent to 1 centimeter. O, so, kung ito na mo, convert na mo, pila ka centimeters ang 8,800. Okay? Okay. So, actually, this is drawn to scale. Okay? Drawn to scale. So, now, the next one is, i-plot ni mo ni B1 or 1B or A1. Ano na siya? The member B1 or 1B is yan eh. Diagonal lang siya, di ba? Mani ang slope. 4, 4, 5. 3, 4. And then 5 mani siya. Di ba? Kaya 3, 4, 3, 10 man. So, ang tungan niya 4. So, 4 vertical, 5 horizontal. 4 vertical, 5 horizontal. I-draw na ni mo. So, B1. Dapat mo agi sa B. Una na dire o B1. Okay? Now, can you remember 1A or A1 is horizontal? Na naman tayo A dire. So, dapat horizontal siya. A1. Okay? Tapos, nasa tayo B1. So, mo intersect sila somewhere here. The point of intersection is point 0.1. Okay? Sige. Oh, scale niya. That's B1. Remember, that's tip to tail tip to tail method. So, ang pagdaro sa ang pagdaro sa B1 is naman dere ang tip sa um, first force. So, dapat dere ang tail sa second force. So, going this way. And then, uh, ang 1A or A1, horizontal man, tip to tail method, na diyan tip, a tail, na diyan tip. Okay. This one, the point of intersection is point 0.1. Common sides, B1, tapos 1A. Okay. Next, we proceed. So joint B, this is joint B, ah. A, B, C, D. Joint B. There are four forces. 10,000, A1, 1, 2, D2. Now, dapat sa force polygon, you only have one point na wala na plot. Like in this case, uh, D is, no naman ni da, ano, D, A. Mga plot na itong D, A. Ang 1 na plot na, ano. Two na lang. Okay. So, let us let us start with 10,000. So, ang 10,000 is ano, DA, yeah? DA. So, ang start ko sa D and then A. Okay. Again, this is drawn to scale. So, similar scale ang AB. Now, sa A, no? So, E1. Now, E1 is E to another one, one man, di ba? Pero ang force, ano eh, opposite. Oh, going to the right na. This one, oh. Okay. What's the reason? Nga nung, nga nung uh, right na sana. For example, okay. Sa, sa method of joints, pag di ka mag-analan sa joint A, suppose tension. Di ba kung tension sa joint A, to the right. Pero, kung sa joint B ka, tension man to the left. Same run na dere. No? So, sa isa ka joint, kung going to the right siya, sa in, the other end point, going to the left siya. Same run po sa compression. Suppose, compression is a, you remember compression. So, compression towards the joint. Going down. Okay? Pero guys, kung diri ka mag sa joint E, going up siya. To the right. No? Kay compression man. So, opposite siya. So, mauna ang nangitabaw doon eh. No? Pero, dilim na to pwede ma-change ang location sa point. So, 1 will always be sa left sa A. Diba? A o 1. Dilim pwede na kung sa joint A ang 1 is na other eh. Pag-abot sa joint B, na diri ang 1. 
Dili, pwede. Same lang sila. Pero ang direction siya, force opposite na. Okay, ang pikas joint man. Eh. Next. One, two na yun. One, two. Okay. And then dito, so. O, mag, mag trial tao ko, mag try to draw ni one, two. And then the last one is D2, which is horizontal. So the D2. So somewhere here, mag-intersect sila. Yeah, like 1, 2, D2. Nandari ang point 2. Okay. Okay, so scale dyan po. Kung ano itong slope pa ni? 2, 1. No? 2, 1. Ah, 2, 1. Saka kay 4 man ni. Tapos 2, 1. Dyan, no? So pag read those, it's 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1. And na plot naman yung point 1, i-draw ni mo. Now, tip to tail, so dapat upward dyan to the right. No? So, yun naman dali ang tip sa last force. Slope niya, this is 2 is to 1. O, nadali ang 2. And then, tip to tail, nadali ang tail, nadali ang tip. Okay. I hope na na sometimes. Okay. Next, join C here. Join C. There are four forces again. So we'll start with six thousand. That's C to D. So C to D again. Run to scale. And then next, for the rest of C three. Dere, C3 horizontal. Pwede sa D2 horizontal. Na. Since na-establish na ang 2, so na ang 2 dere. Ha? Pero ang direksyon niya sa force opposite na. Right man eh, left na layo. Okay, tip to tail. Okay. And then next, okay. 6,000 dito. 2, 3. 2, 3 is second quadrant. No? Or going this way. No? Upward to the left. 2, 3. And then 3, C is horizontal. So, naman tayo C there is. So, 3, C ni siya. So, 2, 3. 3, C. So, somewhere here, mag-intersect sila. And this will be point 3. No? It's 2, 3. C, 3. So, 3 ni siya. Same slope. Ano niya? 2 is to 1. Tip to tail, ha? Tip to tail. And C3 is going to the right. And the last one is at joint D, you have three forces. So, i-plot ni muna ni. This is 7 to is BC. B, many B, C. Yeah. So, that's BC. And then C3. C3, oh. 3 na sa the left side. I drawn to scale, eh? 3C. 3C. I'm going see that. Opposite ang direction, oh. Right man, eh? Left man. And then, kaya yun, ayun. B3. So, this is the individual the individual force polygon. Let's go back. So, ang maxo diagram is the superposition of all the individual force polygons for the concurrent force system acting on each joint. So, this is the individual force polygon. Next one is superposition of the force polygon. Yes. It's super important on it. And let's start with this one. We have this one, AB1, AB1. Do not include any more arrowheads. A, B, and 1. And then what's the next point? B. A. No, B. It connect not only B. B, C, vertical. So then B, they are. Oh, yeah. So B, then is a. This one, BC3. And then 
this one. Ang A yung 1. Ito yung A. Kanda A yung 1. And then B. Okay. So this is the first polygon. A1 to D. A1 to D. And then the last one is this one. C3 to D. C3 to D. Ah. Uh, kung i-direct mo na yung part. Hindi na doble mo ni. Uh, this is the Maxwell diagram. This is the Maxwell diagram. And uh, every time you solve mo, you can do this one. You draw the individual force polygon, and then after that, you superimpose ni mo. Okay. And the next ani is you measure da ni mo. Compute for the forces. You measure ni mo. So good, so good. And then after you measure ni mo ang mga lines, you convert ni mo to scale. That would be the magnitude of the forces. So, inaanay lang ang Maxwell diagram. Pero if the truss has so many joints, laborious na ito. Dili ni siya maayo na solution. Na mag-drop ka individual o individual na force polygon. It will take time. Para ma ma construct ni mo ang maxo diagram. So, so as to the nature of the force, whether it's it's tensile or compressive, you can look at the force polygon. Like this is joint A, de ba? So, ang force ng one A is to the right man. So to the right nasa. Ah, sorry. B1. Okay, ang direction si B1 is third quadrant down to the left. So, this one. So, compression siya. Okay. And therefore, 1A going to the right. Tension. And you do the same for the other joints. Like, kini no? Joint B. The joint B, ang A1 is going to the left. So, uh, consistent siya kay tension na. And then, ang 1, 2, going up to the right. So, that's tension. And then, 2D, this one, going to the right. Tension also. And then, sa C, this one is 2D, going to the left. Tension. 2, 3, going up to the left. That's tension. And then 3C, going to the right, that's tension. And then the D, uh, C3, going to the left, that's tension. And then 3B, going down to the right, this one, that's compression. Okay. So, yun na na yung pan. Pag-determine o pag-identify sa nature sa force and members. So, um, for the simple problem, it's a part two. It's a part two. And the second part, Anne, I will be I will be sharing a different a different method or a different way of drawing the Maxwell diagram. Okay, ang kining kining force polygon. Good. If you will draw this one, ah, joint by joint, it will. Take longer for you to construct the max diagram. However, na shorter na method or na shorter na way of of drawing the max diagram. Na dili na mo agi sa force polygon na by joint. That would be that would be discussed sa second part and sa problem solving. So thank you for watching. I hope na. You have an idea on you have an idea of how to draw the Maxwell diagram. Okay. Thank you for watching.